All right, guys. Um, this is Kush uh, back with something a little different today. Um, some real life stuff. Um, yeah, I've been uh, into rockets in space a lot lately, and I decided, you know, the perfect hobby for me would probably be to just buy a model rocket. See what that's like. Uh, I bought a, a beginner level set. It's the Destination Mars Colonizer. You get this rocket here. I'm gonna show us inside of it in just a second, but it's a really nice set. I paid I paid I think like sixty nine ninety nine for it, seventy six with tax and uh, delivery. But uh, yeah, you get the uh, launcher remote. You get um, and that comes with a safety key. And uh, yeah, I can't really uh, speak on how it works technically because I really don't know anything about it yet. Like I'm a total beginner with this. But yeah, it even comes with its own screwdriver. And uh, speaking of screwdriver, there's hardly any assembly. I mean, you just got to glue on the fins and um, you glue this um, little bottom section onto the uh, midsection. And uh, you just put these stickers on here. And that's pretty much it for assembly. And uh, yeah, you got your glue. It comes with it or uh, rubber cement, I think it's called. And you got like a ton of it left over. Like I hardly had to use any of it at all. You got your recovery wadding, which is... It's like toilet paper type material in terms of consistency. You just stuff that down into the rocket, and uh, I think it makes the parachute work. Uh, you, it comes with two engines. These are C63 engines. Um, these uh, pink plugs, and um, honestly, I don't know what those are, but maybe anybody experienced with rockets that watches this could tell what those are. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'm a total beginner. Uh, uh, launch plate. This is what you uh, put the rocket on to uh, launch it. And um, I, uh, it actually uh, was supposed to come with this piece here, uh, this uh, standoff stem. Um, and my uh, set, for some reason, didn't come with that. I'm going to have to uh, contact the company, which is Estes, by the way, or Estes. Uh, and um, telling them that he didn't come with that, but that's fine because like I'm not even mad because everything else is so amazing. But uh, yeah, that's what you what you get with it. And uh, this is what's inside the rocket. You can pop the nose cone off. One second. All right, you just pop the nose cone off, and there's a parachute inside of it, and there's a uh, two strings of. Uh, tied to that parachute to make sure you don't lose it like i did like a triple knot up here to uh, make sure nothing uh, comes apart and uh this parachute's 18 inches i believe and um yeah we're gonna see that in action on my first launch which i'm aiming for hopefully next week but uh i have to get that uh standoff stem before i can do any kind of launch so that might get pushed back another week or so but it's definitely gonna be in the next two weeks but um, here's a little background of what I'm going to do, uh, you know, outside of the physical launch itself. I uh, bought this composition book and I call it Flight Log, which I might change to Mission Log, actually. And uh, I'm just going to uh, keep a track of things like temperature, um, wind speeds, wind gusts, uh, humidity, cloud coverage, things like that. And, uh, like, all that's going to be real, but I'm also going to do mock data, which, like, uh, you know, every flight I do, I'm going to, like, you know, make up what we found on the moon and whatnot. Like, you know, in terms of, like, rocks, uh, water, uh, other minerals, uh, you know, atmosphere, things like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, if you watch this, I really appreciate it. I think it's going to be a pretty fun hobby, and I'm hoping uh, that if it sticks, I'll just um, – I'll get more rockets because this thing flies at about 250 feet max. Yeah, there's right there. 76 meters uh, on a C63 engine. I've seen rockets that can fly up to 3,000 feet, and uh, I'm going to work my way up to that. I'm not there yet. I'm not, like I said, I'm obviously a total beginner. But, yeah, uh, tell me what you think about the Mars Colonizer. In terms of looks, it's obviously a 10 out of 10. I don't know how it works yet. Hopefully everything goes smooth, and next time I, be, I make a video, it will be uh, my first launch. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.